the first and biggest advantage is that you control the vehicle. Tip number two, when it comes to maths, understanding alone is never enough. How to make the best use of videos in learning mathematics. Hi student, I guess you must have been learning online since the movement of control is in place. Today, I would like to talk to you about how to make the best use of videos in learning mathematics. To make the best use of learning through videos, you need to know the advantages of learning through videos. You need to know the strength of learning through videos. The first and biggest advantage of learning through video is that you control the video. You can rewind, backtrack a little bit the video, you can pause the video, you can even change the speed of the videos. This is something very hard to achieve in a classroom environment. I noticed that some students just give up watching the videos when they got stuck on a certain point or when they find that it's hard for them to catch up with the videos. They forgot that they can always backtrack a little bit and replay the parts that they do not understand. Maybe this is because the students are so used to the classroom environment. Because in a classroom environment, if you don't understand, most students would just keep quiet and keep listening. But actually, on the videos, you can always rewind as many times as you want. The second thing that you can and should do when you watch the teaching videos is to pause the video at certain points. You see, when you watch the videos, there will be some points where you need to do a bit of thinking. These are important moments where learning takes place. So if you just let the videos keep on playing truths, you are not going to learn very well. And pausing the videos is something that you can do very easily when you watch the videos, as opposed to learning in a classroom. And finally, if you find the videos to be too fast for you to catch up, you can always change the speed of the video. For example, do 75% of the original playback speed, This should help you a lot if you are someone who learns a bit slowly. So, tip number one. You control the videos. Rewind the video if you don't understand what is being taught. Pause the video if you need some time to think about a certain point. You can even change the speed of the videos. Tip number two. When it comes to maths, understanding alone is never enough. You need to practice, practice, and practice. You need to do many maths questions. If you subscribe to our program, you will be given some questions to practice on at the end of each section. But if you do not subscribe to our program, but just learn from our teaching videos on our YouTube, you yourself need to pause at the end of each section. Probably you have noticed that we break down one whole chapter into a few parts. For example, for Form 2, Chapter 4, Polygon, we have Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3. But then, we doing one part, there can be a few sections. For example, Video 5.1, Video 5.2, and Video 5.3 belong to one section. Whereas video 6.1 and video 6.2 belong to another section. So, right at the end of each section, please take out your textbook or reference book and do some question pertaining to that section. That will help you a lot in your effectiveness in learning maths online. If you subscribe to our program, we will have questions for you to practice on after each section. And the most 
fantastic thing is that if you got the answer wrong and after trying a few times and you still don't get the answer you can always click on this get solution button there will be a video coming up explaining to you step by step how to get the answer we have this solution video for every question this is what you don't get for other e-learning program so tip number two do some maths question after each section before you move on right that's it for today good luck and i see you again Enroll in our maths program at www.matsking.my or subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn maths free online.